Okay guys, want to pop up another quick video. It is 10 o'clock at night and I'm just leaving a new a new customer client that's coming on board now, but I had a call in with him um, regarding a upcoming court case and investigation that he has regarding vehicle weights and um, tachograph offences, failure to fit tachographs, um, failure to have an operator's license, all this sort of jazz. So what I want to explain guys is this here particular um, company have a number of vans, that's all they have is vans, okay? And they went and they purchased a number of second-hand vehicles out of England. The vehicles have came back. Um, they got them all liveried up, all the writing on them, all good to go. They run around the road for a couple of months thinking there was no problem. But unfortunately, the vans are, a couple of them Ford Transits and a couple of them are the Sprinters, but they're, you know, a number of them are over three and a half tonne. Some of them are coming in at four tonne, some coming in at 4.2 tonne, um, and they have one of vehicle at five tonne. Okay, so although it looks like a van, guys, please remember that a vehicle with a gross vehicle weight exceeding three and a half tonne, which is 3,500 kg, um, depending on what you're using it for, but especially the likes of hire and reward, um, you know, for carrying goods and products. Uh, then the vehicle will need to be fitted with a tachograph. You will need an operator's license. You will need the tachograph analysis and all the all the good stuff that comes with it. But one of the big things is that when I when I called around to them, um, and again, guys, knowledge is power at this stage. UK, okay? this company did not know that they needed this, um, but. The tachograph units are fitted in to the vehicles, okay? And a couple of them, for any of the guys out there that are, you know, um, knowledge of vehicles, the likes of the Avico Daily and what have you, you know, the the tachograph unit is down and underneath the dash. So it's very, very hard to see. But um, anyway, guys, yes, yeah, bear that in mind. Are your vehicles over three and a half tonne? And please remember that when you hook up a trailer combination, get rid of the first weight, go for the second weight. So his next issue that he had was overweight um, on two of his smaller vehicles. And they were overweight on axle two. So the payload, well, put it like this here, they didn't understand the payload, they didn't understand the gross vehicle weight, they didn't understand the unladen weight, they didn't understand axle weight, they didn't understand pin weight, they didn't understand gross train weight. Um, so yeah, I'm not dictating about it because if you don't know, you don't know. However, these people, um, they're going to be dragged through the court for a wee while and I suppose a lot of um, transport enforcement activity around them. But anyway, guys, now going forward, it's all about putting control measures in place. It's about fixing the problem. It's about educating the people um, and it's about making sure that the control measures are that are implemented are working and they're not there just to take a box. So anyway, that is all. Good night.